DistroKid payments. Let's talk about everything about uh, getting paid in DistroKid. You have your music on DistroKid. How do you get money actually into your bank account? And how do teams work? And you may have heard of it called splits as well. Let's get into all of that. So let's say an example one, you wrote the song by yourself. You have no collaborators. Well, you have 100% of the royalties to you, right? So you would essentially just go to your DistroKid um, account here. You can see the songs here. I use DistroKid and TuneCore as my main distributors. And this is a good time to mention that DistroKid did sponsor this video for me. And there are some affiliate links to DistroKid and TuneCore in the description. You can use those to sign up and get a discount, but you don't have to. And some of you have been asking me in the comments why I use two distributors to release my music. I release a lot of music, so I like DistroKid because you can release a lot of music and just pay on an annual fee. And then TuneCore, I like TuneCore because of some of their more robust features like TuneCore Music Publishing, sorry. It really depends what you're after. So, But we're sticking with DistroKid in this video. So how do you get paid if you own the, the copyright, right? So let's stick to that one example. Go to your bank and here's where you withdraw earnings. If I press this button right now because I have payments already set up, it will just um, they'll just give me a notification and I don't want to press this right now because I just don't want to withdraw my earnings. Right when you press this, the money will be sent to your PayPal account that you sign up with. If you've never done a withdrawal with DistroKid, then you just have to set up the payments. So it means linking your PayPal account and also just filling out some tax information forms. That's what how you would get your money if you own 100% of the royalties of the song. Okay, let's say you wrote a song with a producer, co-writer, three, four different co-writers. Most of my music is co-written, so I have to pay out my songwriters and producers. And before Automatic Splits by DistroKid, I had to take the money from DistroKid as I would have owned 100% of the royalty. So I get like, let's say $100, take that $100, and then I would go and just do the math in my head. It's not hard. So 15%, let's say, goes to person um, one. So I would take... $15 and send them on to their bank account. I would take another $15 if someone owns another 15% and send it that way. You just have to remind yourself to do that every year or so. It does take time. Now with automatic splits, you can get to it with uh, this button under bank or it's at the top menu now because it's a main feature. So let's, let's go to split. This is basically what I've just said. You can split with your collaborators, your songwriters, producers. However, here's the catch. You need your collaborators to have a DistroKid account. It is unfortunate, but it does make sense. So if they don't have a DistroKid account, then you can't do this. But because of that, because they know that not everyone has your collaborators have a DistroKid account, they will offer a 50% discount on signup. So it's about $20. The average um, or the first plan on a DistroKid account is $20. 50% there is $10. However, it is $10 a year, I believe. Let's do an example. Let's go to my release called Skeletons in Your Closet. And it was actually a co-written song by another person and I shared royalties with the producer as well. So I would add a collaborator, person one at gmail.com, let's just say. And let's add a, two collaborators, add someone new, person two at gmail.com. Let's say person one gets 15% and person two Person two gets 15%. And it's already it's done the change in royalties for my share. If it's as simple as that, that's it. You review the changes. So person one, 15%, person two gets 15%. Now, if person one and person two do not have distrokid accounts, they will be automatically emailed right now and will be sent a 50% discount code to sign up to DistroKid. So they'll have to sign up, pay the $10, and then from there on they'll get the you know, royalties coming through for with your song. Okay, let's go back here. Well, the other thing you can do, um, oh, didn't say the changes when I went back. Okay, where are my other two guys here? That's a little bug, I guess. There, we just noticed a bug, so you can't go back. We'll just have to do that again. Add a collaborator. And person, add someone new. Okay, we're doing this again. So you can add recoupments which basically mean you can say, for example, let's say person two invested is the producer and they invested a lot of time into the production of the song. And you wanna pay them the first $500 that the song makes before any splits happen, before you make money and before person one makes money. You go add recruitment and 
you go to person two and you say, I want person two to make the first $500 before anyone else gets money. So that means basically whenever the song makes money from streaming, it will all go to person two. 100% of it will all go to person two up till $500. And then when it hits $500, then the splits happen. Then you get 70%, 15%, and person two gets 15%. This is like basically if you sign to a record label, um, they might give you um, a, a record deal, but they recoup maybe $10,000 before you make any money on the song or whatever. It can be any number. A couple more things on split payments. One, you can change the payments at any time. Two, uh, your collaborators or the people you're gonna email with these splits won't be able to see what the other people have. So for example, in our example, person one won't be able to see person two. You know, if you're like, wow, person two did more, I'm gonna give them, you know, 80%. Person one won't have any idea. All they, all person one will see is that they get 15% and that's it. Three, you can remove any of the collaborators at any time. And four, which I already mentioned, they have to have a DistroKid account to sign up. So let's say in the circumstance you do the splits, it sends them a, um, a code to sign up for DistroKid with the 50% discount. Let's say they never sign up. What happens to the money that they should get? DistroKid will hold this money for them and then whenever they do sign up, it will be sent to their bank account. So like they have to sign up to get the money. So essentially, ideally they would sign up because they want that money, especially if it's a significant amount of money. And if they really won't ever sign up, that's okay. You just cancel their invite. You will get the money that they deserve and then you'll have to go and pay it out yourself. Um, any other way you would pay someone money. So that's automatic splits in DistroKid. Comment below with any questions. I'd be happy to help and I hope to see you in the next video.